Okay, so hear me out, right? He- just, just hear me out. I'm not, I'm not like an Andrew Tate fan, but just, just, just hear me out. Just, just, just for a second. When I talk about the Matrix, I'm talking about the systems which have been created by society, which are deliberately designed to enslave. And you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged. The Matrix is trying to right. control your mind. They're right. very good at it. Andrew Tate could be the biggest threat to the government system because he's constantly. Damn, I, I didn't thought there would be a narrator on this video. Yes, okay, no mind. exposing it and waking people up to the truth. Everything you see on TV is a control mechanism. Legs. They're trying to control you. They're trying to dampen your life force. This ultimately led to all of his accounts getting banned. He even warned us that death could be. But when did this happen? Sure Two months ago. Suicide because what happens if we don't shut up eventually? That's what comes next. So in this video, we're gonna dive deep into what Andrew Tate is truly Bro. trying to expose. The problem, Nan. Okay, here's the thing about the. I just, I just wanted to touch on the Matrix part, right? It's like, okay, so what is the Matrix? So what is the Matrix? If you, okay, actually, this video might explain it. What is the Matrix, bro? If by some freak accident our graves end up next to each other, everyone's gonna read my headstone and ignore yours because you're fucking average, and there is nothing worse on this planet than Mr. Fucking Average. The name Andrew Tate is... Damn, man. Damn. That's kind of a hard pill to swallow. Very controversial. But even if you don't agree with everything he says, there is truth in a lot of it. The Matrix is a term that Andrew constantly yes. uses to define... Explain. Explain. I always Explain. knew that the Matrix existed. The Matrix is real. I've literally escaped the Matrix in nearly every form. And the reason I call it the Matrix is because a false reality yeah. is being projected onto humanity, and they do that by controlling narratives. If we take a look at the movie, it almost perfectly correlates with our yeah. actual society. And people are put into a fake system that is meant to stimulate mm-hmm. the mind. And if you pay attention, real life isn't too different from that. But not a lot of people realize it. Uh, we live in a world where I don't yeah. think the average person realizes how much they are lied to. It's all a lie. It's all a scam. Just go to work, pay your taxes. This is why there's so many powerful... Bro, like, the fact is, you know, and they try to pull you in, bro. Like, you, you, after, after, here's the thing. Or maybe let's not even try to speak in the context of this matrix term that they're using. But you go to school. This is what they tell you, right? You go to school, um, you get good grades, or you get some level of grades, you pass regardless, right? They have even levels of passing, right? They're like, okay, because you passed on this mark, you can do this course, which is less, uh, less in, in, in terms of status, it's less than this other course, which you could have gotten if you've gotten this many marks on your exams or tests or whatever, whatever, you know? And it's like, there's already like a class system of jobs. There's a class system, a class system that already separates you from other people. It already does. It already does. Okay, so, you know, you're told to go to school, accomplish uh, good grades, and then uh, get your qualification um, to whatever degree you're doing. And then whichever qualification that you did, no matter what class, no matter how much it's going to earn you or whatever, you know, you can qualify for a certain job now. Those jobs have certain requirements, right? Okay, um, you, 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 you apply for those jobs, right? You get that job. And then uh, you earn a certain amount of money. And then comes the tax part, you know? Um, you get to pay your tax. You're doing all of this, by the way. You're doing all of this to be able to pay uh, for your house, to be able to pay for your car, your food, your clothes, you know, and, um, you know, sometimes buy yourself useless things and spend your time in having fun in a couple of things and whatnot. And all you got to do is just, you know... Um, Follow the rules and uh, pay tax and all those things and whatnot. And you would ask yourself, okay, what's the, what's the problem in that? You know, there's, there's no problem, right? Uh, maybe you might be like that guy in the Matrix movie where, you know, he actually uh, betrayed the people who want to escape the Matrix uh, because he just liked the, the simple life. He liked being ignorant to the Matrix. He liked being the ignorant fool, right? So maybe you might be like that guy. Maybe you're not a fool, but you, you, you certainly don't want to change anything about your life. But here's the problem. You know, we just came from, a, I believe it was 2020, right? Wasn't there like a sort of a, like a thing happening? Well, I don't want to say the words, but, you know, is it Covivi? Whatever, you know, in South Africa, we spoil it Covivi. Like, you know, you're calling like, give it a cute name or something like that. Yeah, 2020, man. I mean, a whole lot happened, you know. All it ever took was just people telling us that there's a, you know, 
I don't want to say the words, but you know, because this video will be flagged. But it's like there was there was a thing happening, right? All it ever took is for them to tell us, okay, this is what we do because there's a thing out there. And I get it, you know, there's 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 families affected by this thing, right? And it exists. Let's just say that 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 the thing exists, right? Um, but throughout that time, it only took um, the government to tell us to uh, do certain things, to avoid the thing. Um, it showed a level of control that has almost never been uh, practiced or shown before to us, right? Uh, maybe it has been little by little, but never on this extent because not a lot of people in, in our lifetime today have experienced um, an epidemic of this of this size and whatnot, you know. So it's 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 like it showed a level of control that we've never seen before. It exposed that all they have to do is just say one thing, and we are gonna move like mice. No, we're gonna move like ants. Yeah, we're gonna move like ants. That's all we're gonna do. You know, we are that much controlled, and I think that's what they mean by the matrix. You know. And uh, you can escape the matrix, essentially, um, by... Let's listen, man. Let's hear, let's hear it. On the world. And one of the main ones is called money. Money is used as a tool that can make almost anybody do anything. This is why we constantly go to a job that we hate. It's not because you want yeah. to. It's because you get money for it. Many people yeah, have to pay a tax. Yeah. Andrew Tate broke the entire slavery system down, proving this theory right. You used to be a slave, and you'd work all day, and at the end, you got food in the house. Now, you work all day, you get money, and you spend all your money on a food and a house. A government would get slaves, make them work for free, and build things. So they stop doing that now. So what do they do now? They get people, make them build things for money. But the government print all the money. So if a government can create as much as they want of something from thin air, and you'll give up your life for this thing they can create from thin air as much as they want, you are still their slave. If you actually wake up and look around you, you realize you're being destroyed in real time. Let me know by leaving a like on the um, video if you believe that this theory is true. This is why it's so important to understand the system that we live in. We're able to understand have to. it, use it, and take advantage of it. I have to. I, I have to agree. I have to agree, man. I have to agree. Andrew Tate is a prime example of how this can actually happen because he understands. I mean, I, I, I do want, I, I do want us to sort of like uh, admit that you know what, there is a level of freedom that you can get that you could that you can't get because you are a worker ant in a sense, you know, because you are being told this is the best way to do things and whatnot, you know. And this, to be honest with you, what, what does it ultimately do? Because whenever I listen to these things, I always jump to like, okay, how do I escape the matrix, right? How, how, how do I escape the matrix? And I think, I, think, I think we can get a sense when we watch this video. Stood the system, broke free from it, and now he's living freely and abundant while technically still being a part of the system. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. Yes, the richer are always going to get richer, and that's the way the game is set up, so you still need to find the best move on the chessboard. There's no point sitting there saying, I want to play a different game, because that's never going to happen. The analogy he mm -hmm. used was GTA. Your character can't escape the game, but he can level up and make the game his own world. You talk about GTA, Grand Theft Auto. I know the game. Making as much money as they can, getting the best guns, getting strong, getting some hoes, meeting important people, getting the best car. Mm -hmm. They'll do all that in a game, but they won't do it in real life. I don't need to play a game for GTA. If I want a gun, I'll fucking buy it. If I want a car, I'll fucking buy it. I want a bitch, I'll get her. It's me. I am GTA. And okay. this is one big video game. You get to upgrade your character. You're not born with any value. You have to decide if you want to complete it. You have to upgrade your okay. character. But how can you gain full okay. control over your life and break free from the system? How can you make your life feel like GTA? GTA the yes. answer is simple. Learn how to control your mind. The main reason people are so caught up in the system is because the system has control over everyone's mind. Things like the news, social media, blogs, it consumes almost everybody's mind, which is why very few people think for themselves. The news told you X, and now you are desperate. You will sit here for hours arguing that point. No, but I saw the news. A lot of people are completely empty vessels ready to be programmed. The things they're telling you to believe are not necessarily for your benefit. There's even a documentary on Netflix called The Social Dilemma. They admitted that everybody that is active on social media is being watched and monitored very carefully. What I want people to know is mm -hmm. that everything they're doing online is being watched, is being tracked. Every single action you take is carefully monitored and recorded. So social media is ultimately a trap to keep our minds distracted from the... Okay, I, I just, I just want to understand. You know, so the escape to the matrix is to control your mind. But how do I do... Okay, so I control my mind by avoiding these things or not even avoiding them, but by not being influenced by social media or the media itself and whatever they tell me, 
you know. So if they told me that, hey, there's Covivi happening, um, essentially I don't believe them. And instead, I sort of try to use that to my advantage somehow. And how do I use that to my advantage somehow? That's what you have to figure out. I think that's the point. That's the point. You know, you don't listen to what they say. Instead, you look at the hidden messages. You're like, okay, because this thing is happening, maybe there might be a way for me to benefit from it. Maybe there might be a way for me not to be controlled by it in any shape or form so that I can make a better life somehow, um, you know, because I understand that the way Andrew Tate, for example, made his wealth um, from what he said, at least what he said. I know he got arrested uh, recently and whatnot, but we're just talking about a bit of what he touched on, right? I think what he said he made his money by building casinos for, uh, I think, a casino brand that already existed or something like that. And that's how he makes his money. At least that's, that's what he said, right? We have to go off on what he said. So... With that being said, it's like he doesn't need to be necessarily controlled by an employer. He doesn't need to be controlled too much by the government. He doesn't need to be controlled too much by, you know, whatever. Because I think maybe, just maybe, this is me just, you know, thinking that, you know, uh, people who work within like, um, you know, who do things, who build establishments like casinos and whatnot, they're a bit of a necessity. Somehow, it's all like a partnership between him and the government to some degree. I'm not really sure. I'm, I might be speculating. All I'm saying is he doesn't really have a boss. He doesn't ever have anyone telling him what to do that much. You know, uh, he's working in line with the people that might be your boss, which is like the government itself or other people. You know, I'm just saying, you know, build your wealth in a different way than how they tell you to build your wealth, right? You don't build your wealth by um, going to school. You can, you know, for like a skill, you know? And this, this is what I think about schools for, uh, first before we continue about this. This is what I think about schools. I feel like schools are more useful for people who actually have a skill to learn. That's just it. A useful skill in society. If you want to be a doctor, for example, you can't just learn that from anywhere, okay? If you want to be, uh, for example, I don't know, a mechanic or, you know, computer scientist, whatever, you know, that, those are skills, necessary skills in today's time, you know? If you want to learn how to, um, you know, anything, compli- anything complex that needs an extended amount of studying and all those things, those are the things I think are necessary in school, not... Uh, entrepreneurial studies, business studies, you know, business studies, that's a whole bunch of theory, man. Why? You know, I mean, even I, I would even argue that even literature is, is, is useful than business studies. You know, there's a lot of architecture, man, like this architecture, like there's so many things that you need to learn, you know, in school. No, there is so little that you need to learn from school. That's what I'm trying to say. Most of us are doing things that we don't need to really do in order to be wealthy in life. We don't, but this is a system that that tries to accommodate to a majority of people living within a community, living within a country, whatever, you know, living within a continent or whatever, right? So it tries to accommodate every single person, right? So messages like this, sometimes I have to admit, they do... They do sort of like, you know, um, I don't know. How can I put this? Um, they are more useful to people who, who are willing to escape, who are willing to do something different than just what they've been told to do, you know? And by the way, I say it, I'm say i saying it again. I'm not an Andrew Tate fan. I just listen to some of the things that he says. I don't agree with everything that he says. But, you know, one of, the, one of the things that I do think is interesting to touch on is things like the Matrix. Sounds ridiculous, I know, but to people who are indoctrinated, who are not indoctrinated, I mean, you know, we are indoctrinated. Me and you, you know, the League of Shadows, you feel me? You know, you know, we didn't adopt the darkness. We were born in it. You feel me? Raised by it, molded in it. You know, I didn't know daylight until I was, damn, 
from the truth and to feed us information that isn't. But the problem is most of us fall right into the trap because it's entertaining and it's easy to access. Whatever narrative is created by the Matrix can easily get pushed through the media. That's what they do to control all of us. Mm -hmm. You have to break the trap. If you cannot control your own mind, then you are just a feather in the wind of life. You can't control anything besides what you think. Mm -hmm. So why are you not controlling your own mind? It's your, it's your asset. It's your ally. It's your friend. Why would you make an enemy out of the only thing you have control over? You will truly be able to break free from the matrix if you learn the power of your mind. Believe it or not, okay. changing your mindset and waking up to the truth can be as easy as you make it. Andrew Tate even suggested that you can blink to solve all your mindset problems. It's a, it's a conscious decision. If you find yourself unable to focus or concentrate on tasks, you must blink and cure your brain. If you find yourself unable to go and dedicate yourself to something you don't want to do, you must blink and cure your brain. The way the mind functions has changed so significantly in the last 10 years you wouldn't believe. So do you believe you can actually solve your problems with a blink? Let me know down below. We talked about the possibility okay. of living inside of a matrix, but we never talked about why it actually exists. So what is the agenda of the matrix? Okay, first of all, if the owner of this video, um, first of all, if they catch me watching this video, please don't copyright strike me, man. I really like this video. I really do. I'll link it. I'll link the original video down in the description below. Please don't don't copy this. Narrative straight. control, right? Mm -hmm. The agenda is narrative control, and, mm -hmm. and as long as they control a narrative, they can control the populace to do whatever they need them to do. You change all the Google search results. Everything online says a certain thing must be true. They prevent people from talking to counter to that narrative. They now own reality, and then you use. You know, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't want to get lost in the message. I, I really don't want to get lost in the message. You know, uh, one of the things that he touched on is. You know, blinking and you, and you can solve your problems. You know, you think you're lazy, blink. You just solved your problem, right? You're no longer lazy. That's what you tell yourself. You know, you control your mind. Your mind is your biggest asset, you know. So you do that, you're done. I will admit, I will admit, you know, recently there's been a time when um, I think I've been a bit lazy. And I was like, okay, oftentimes, you know, my, my routine, I have a certain routine in some things, right? Um, and it's very unhealthy. Sometimes it's like I go to sleep on time. You know, sometimes I go to, no, I try to go to sleep on time and sometimes I fail. And when that happens, right, when I go to sleep because I'm tired, I, or I'm just lazy or something like that, I literally never immediately go to sleep. I, I, I just go on TikTok or I go on YouTube or I go on some social media until I decide to put my phone down. And I can go as far is doing that for like an hour or two, right? That hour or two hours could have been used for me to be productive. I could have done something with, the, with that time. But instead, I was scrolling on social media. I was given something by, you know, I don't know, I guess the narrative out there, you know, that the matrix out there, you know, the matrix, you know, uh, provides me with TikTok to be entertained or Instagram or YouTube sometimes, you know, it provides me with all these things that I can entertain myself with instead of trying to be as productive as I can be, right? They provide me with entertainment so that I can be distracted from the things that, I can, that can actually benefit me, the things that allow me to not be controlled or to not be fed information that may be false or useless to me, right? Because what is the most useful thing to me right now? I'm a young man, right? And I have a family. I have parents. I have brothers. I have, I have other family members. What the most useful thing I can do right now is use my time and energy to produce wealth, right? To build wealth in any shape and form that I can, that I'm willing to do, right? And I must be willing to build wealth. I must be. I must be willing to do the tough things to build wealth, right? I'm not talking about sin, by the way. I'm not talking about crime. Okay? I'm not talking about anything illegal. Here, okay? I'm, I'm just simply saying that, you know, um, you know, I was lazy. And I was willing to be lazy. And I was willing to lean on the things that I already have, thinking that that is enough to win, right? Because I have a job. And that can be enough, right? That can be a thing that I can use to build wealth, right? To have a boss. I have a boss, you know? Before, before even that, I have multiple bosses, right? I have this, the CEO. 
I mean, I mean, oh, hold on. Before even the CEO, oh, shit. There's the, there's the what do you call this? Uh, the major now is it the majority shareholder? Whatever. You know, there's the shareholders. You know, which is the directors. You know, there's the CEO. There's the CFO. You know, there's 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 managers, and then I have a team leader or a supervisor. I would I would call them. You know, I have colleagues who sometimes can snitch me out or call me out on some things and then, you know, to some degree they can control my actions. If they call me out, then I have to, you know, either defend myself or, you know, uh, you know, produce more results so that I don't get snitched out again, you know? There's, there's, there's a whole list of people that can control me from the position that I'm sitting right now, right? And even before them, there's people that they are controlled by. You know, the directors, the shareholders, they can be controlled by the government themselves to some degree, you know? Hell, you know, they probably escaped the matrix. <laughs> what am I talking about? They rich. You know, they rich. They probably escaped the matrix to some degree, right? But even them, it's tough for them to escape some things. Even for Andrew Tate, it's tough for him to escape some things. I don't know, man. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to make you understand that, you know, um, you shouldn't be too comfortable to where you are. And I think that's how you can start by controlling your mind, by telling yourself that, you know what, I'm not really willing to stay where I am and I'm not willing to go the safe route on things. I'm willing to go extremely far, extremely fast as possible with as much effort as I can, you know? And that needs for you to think outside the box, to not think about the things that you have been given or to not lean on the things that you have been given. I think that's how I can describe escaping the matrix. You know, basics of it. How am I trying to escape the matrix, you ask? How am I specifically trying to escape? I don't know if you're asking. I don't even know if you're watching, honestly speaking. But how am I trying to escape the matrix? I mean, I'm trying to make content. I don't need to. You know, I don't need to. Someone else may be trying to build a business out there. They don't need to. They probably have a job that can sustain them. You know, let's say, let's take somebody in my position, right? Somebody who has a job and, you know, they have free time after working, right? It's like, okay, instead of making content, they're trying to build a business, right? That's, that's, that's a start. That's the beginning. You know, that's how you can try to do things. That's how you can try to escape, I mean. Try to put some extra work. Try to put some extra effort, you know. But okay, be before I end, quickly going back to what I said, you know. Um, I used to sleep um, and then spend a lot of time wasting. Um, I used to try to go to bed early or on time at least or whatever at the, at the time. I wouldn't try to make, you know, do something productive and whatnot. And then I would, you know, um, spend my time scrolling on TikTok or YouTube or whatever. And then I decided to stop that because I was tired of where I am. I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just try to make a video or two. Let me just try to be productive a bit. You know, let me try to grab something or produce something. You know, if I was somebody who is a business owner and whatnot, I don't know what I would be looking at, but somebody who is interested in uh, selling products or services somehow or being the middleman of any transactions out there going on and whatnot you know somebody who's trying to build a business trying somebody who's trying to make profit you know build results that type of thing and whatnot you know they would focus on the little things that they can do in the moment instead of just going to sleep immediately that's the mindset that i have to produce i have to think about okay what can i do right now before i go to sleep you know and obviously, before that time, I'm trying not to be lazy at all. The one thing that has to get me tired today is the simple fact that I'm trying to produce content. That's just it. That's me. That's my mindset, at least, on the content part. You know, I don't know if it escapes them. It's a start, man. It's a beginning. Use it to weaponize it for your own benefit. If this video is starting to change your perspective, be sure to smash that like button so Damn, you can reach it for more people. This is the third, this is the second time you tell me that.
Andrew Tate was growing at an extremely fast rate. He was getting very close to taking over social media with his ideas. But since most of his ideas went against the system, he had to be stopped. All of his accounts were instantly and permanently banned. I love this clip. Just stop. Nobody footage. told me whether it was YouTube that banned me or Meta that banned me. Instantly yeah. and forever without any kind of correspondence. Now there's many theories mm -hmm. on why this could have happened, but the one that makes the most sense is that Andrew Tate was actively changing the world while also exposing it. The media feared that too many people. I mean, damn, man, the world. I mean, I mean that, that's partly true, but the world is a lot bigger than than the people on the internet. Actually, come to think of it, it's like shit. We're talking about like there's there's a, there's a lot of people that don't have internet. We wake up from the truth because people will control the narratives of their own life, and the elites will lose power. Then something has to change, and they don't want anything to change, so they try and keep this population subdued. And I'm telling them to do the opposite. I'm telling them to think. And like I said earlier, there are many systems set in place for a reason, which is to make sure this matrix is ran a certain way. But Andrew Tate was exposing the system and waking up millions of people a day. My main message is to resist the slave mind. So I say this right. all the time. Uh, to understand that every single thing you're being told has an agenda behind. All right, all right, okay. You know what? Listen. Um, at the end of the day, I'm not a completely Andrew Tate fan. I, I understand that he says some things that are questionably misogynistic. Things that are misogynistic. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie about that. Things that sound misogynistic, but the definition of misogyny, to be honest with you, is the, is that you hate women, you know. And uh, psh, you know that's not the message that we gravitate to. If that, if that's, if there's a reason why Andrew Tate um, is as popular as he is, two young, two young men, is not because he's misogynistic. People don't have to worry about that part. It's not because he's misogynistic. The biggest message that Andrew Tate preachers out there has nothing to do about women everything to do about the matrix everything to do about what we've been told is the truth but it's a lie just like the matrix and yet we wouldn't be told otherwise to examine every strongly held belief you have and try and identify where it comes from and why you have it it was even starting to get more attention than our own U.S. president. I was the most Googled man on the planet. More than Donald Trump. Yeah. Hey. Joe Biden. I was that Googled. And not only because of how he felt about women or misogynistic allegations, but because people were starting to wake up. And do the, you know the, 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 views on the world? Do you believe believe we can actually yeah. be living in the Matrix? And do you believe we're being controlled by a system? If you want to see more videos like these, be sure. I mean, I think, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, uh, like, uh, titles like they or the matrix or anything like that it's it's very ambiguous and it's very vague in a sense if you ask me i think um one of the content creators that i used to watch he had a good question about andrew tate he he's all he he also like you know um critiques some of the things that he says you know agrees with some of the things but doesn't agree with everything um one of the things that you know i think he criticized andrew on is uh the fact that you know, when you say they or when you say the matrix or anything like that and whatnot, um, it's 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 it, it 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 it's a throwaway title. I don't know. It's just like, you know, it's just like, hey, somebody's trying to control you. Who? I don't know who and whatnot, you know. Instead, I think if you break down everything, I would say everything is all about money and power. Everything is all about money and power. I think the matrix. It's just a bunch of people that just want money and power. That's just it. So they're going to make the best decision that gives them money and power. That's just it. That's it. You know, for example, I think I spoke about this in a video that I made recently. Um, YouTube um, is paid, but YouTube gets its money from advertisers, right? Most advertisers are people who sell products and services. So they are going to pay YouTube to advertise their products or services on YouTube videos, right? So they are the ones that pay YouTube for this thing. And most consumers, right, between men and women are women, right? So the most likely somebody who's going to buy a product after seeing an advertisement are women. It depends on the product or the service. Yes, I know. But... I just want to put that out there. Most consumers are women. Most women are the ones that spend, uh, you know, uh, their, most of their money on products. They spend billions, trillions every year on products and services, you know? 
every year. Like, yes, men, we spend money, but not as much as women. I just want to put that out there and whatnot. So if you are a person who says things that piss off the consumer, if you are the figure that says things that piss off the consumer, right? The consumer being the woman. Uh, first of all, YouTube is in charge of regulating what is shown on YouTube itself. So they are going to be a bit nervous because if the people watching this don't like this thing, then most likely they are not going to watch it again, right? And so that makes it hard for advertisers to get their buck back, right? To get the benefits of their advertisements back to some degree. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, point is, if the advertisers are not satisfied, YouTube is not going to... If the consumer is not satisfied, advertisers are not going to be satisfied, and thus YouTube is not going satis- to be satisfied, so they are going to take action, you know? From the consumer to the, to, to the uh, service product provider to the middleman, which is YouTube, nobody's going to like it. So they're going to remove you, you know? Or... Or, yeah, actually, yeah, that might be the case. That's my argument right there. And then, if you want to talk about exposing people to the Matrix, if that's the reason why Andrew Tate has been gunned down right now, he's been arrested and he's been banned and everything, man, that's a tough one because then, then you're really talking about the government or something. I don't know. You're talking about people in power. Maybe not just the government, just maybe people who are in power. You know? It may be private uh, company owners. It's, you know, it may be anybody. It can be anybody, you know? Anybody who has some level of power and some level of leverage towards other people of power like the government. And this video is going on too long now. I'm out.